Hey there YouTube, Super Brandy K here. And check it out. I've uh reverse engineered the uh main components in the uh 35 watt USB load. The one with the uh boosting fan voltage circuit, which is actually pretty useful. And it's got all the uh different ports. You can check out the uh other videos that I have about this in the uh, description. Uh, but today I have kind of reversed engineered it. You can see here we've got the USB in, that's this right here. Then we've got that, which is the USB out. So that way you can basically make this a uh, inline power meter. Um, and then you've got, so the positives are connected together, data lines are connected together, um, the D plus and D minus, so the data lines go to the microcontroller over there so it can read the voltages. Um, and then you've got this resistor in here on the negative side, which would be that guy right there. Um... And yeah, so this would be the constant current circuit. Um, and you've got the, let's see, positive the USB going over here to the three volt regulator right there. And uses those two diodes to make sure that whichever input has the highest voltage from the little system power plug. That way, if this dies, then the metering doesn't actually turn off. Um, so yeah, positive, the five volts goes directly on the collector of this transistor, the tip 122. The emitter of the transistor goes to the resistor and the reason why there's a plus and minus there is because when there's current flowing this will be positive and that side will be negative so just for circuit reference um, and then the base of the transistor is powered by this A63A which would be this little guy right here that little five pin job. Um, that is oriented like this. Yep. So. So pin, I guess one over here. That is going to the nine to 24 volt fan boost, which is just on the plus and minus of the five volts after the current shunt. So whatever current this uses, or the fan uses, is through the shunt, which is the circuit over here. Automatic boost converter based on this uh, thermistor right here. Um, so that uh, amplifier, I believe it's a differential amplifier because it's got two inputs and output. And it's being powered by the boost, boost uh converter circuit, 9 to 24 volts, um, and then it's got these two inputs. So the input over here is going on there, and its reference point is on the other side of the resistor. So when current starts flowing through the transistor, this will be positive, that will be negative, this will be positive, and that will be negative. So there will be a voltage, depending on the current, based on the resistance value. And for the other input, you've got the two potentiometers. These are single, single turn potentiometers. Um, so we'll start over here is actually this little bit right here. 
you can see that which goes up to the microcontroller that's the little three volt pin there branching over so that's what and they've got three VCC which comes from the regulator and then it goes through these two resistors which is a potential divider the top one is approximately 14 and a half K the bottom one is about 4k I didn't quite do the math but the voltage I know is a stable 0 0.27 volts on there and then so it comes from that divider and then it goes to left side of this pot and left side of this pot left side of this pot left side of this pot um, the negatives of the pots go to the same reference point so you can see there it's actually soldered there to the uh, ground plane there and so in from these pots the middle pin might be able to see goes to that resistor this middle pin goes under the board and around over to here and down into this resistor and then those two resistors combine the one on the right is a nine and a half K and the one on the left is a 13 and a half K of course approximately because I'm measuring these in circuit but that's about what it is and so that is how you get the fine and coarse adjustments because these take the potentially divided 0 0.27 volts and adjustably divide it in two different arrays added together or whatnot to make the actual current input of here and then this measures the current between or the voltage between these two and makes a match basically by putting an output signal to the transistor so the higher voltage here and the lower voltage there more output will be out here this will turn on making current flow making this voltage rise so the differential will be less and so it will lower the output on the base so the whole feedback circuit um, and yeah so fine and coarse adjustments there are just based on these uh, two resistors that combine it um, so yeah one thing I want to mention before I go on to the next thing which would be actually using this for voltage instead of current this is kind of almost you can tie this into the uh, um, the buck converter sort of uh, reference input voltage reference I believe that that would work um, you would just have to invert it so basically swap these two so that way the difference between these two would make a less output at least I think no yeah that's right because if you want more current you don't want more voltage coming out because otherwise that would trick it into thinking it needs more more voltage so yeah kind of flip-flop but yeah um, I know on the one of the other videos I had people asking me how they can fix it if they blew it up um, it's fairly simple it depends on how exactly you blew it up um, if you drew way too much current chances are this guy probably fried um, and so or this could have fried this is probably a little more robust since it's just a resistor this is just a transistor but this thing does get quite hot so check for continuity basically between it and then check the check that this isn't shorted together and 
Um, the other thing is if you have too high of an input voltage, the regulator, 3 volt regulator here, the 7500M might fry. And I think that's what, what one of the other guys had happen. Um, you can also check these with diode, because if it comes on with system power, but it doesn't come on normally, then you'll know it's this diode here. Otherwise, it would be this regulator. Um, and you can also like, check the voltages on these, because that should be 0 0.27. If it's actually drawing current, probably be about 1 amp. Or one volt. So yeah. Um, so that's that that guy there. So how do you actually use that for voltage? Well, it's kind of basically the exact same thing. So I've got this guy. This is a new uh, little panel meter, hundred volt, um, ten amp meter. I'm not super impressed with it. It's a uh, update time is very slow. We've got a uh, power coming in from the DPS 5005 set to 25 volts. And then we've got this LM2596 going to the voltage measurement of this guy. It's plus and minus or reference um, to the input. Well, it's drawing power from the input and then measuring the voltage on the output of the buck converter. And I've completely removed everything from here, including the uh, little pull down resistor, I believe. And then I've got a 20K and a 20K potentiometer in a voltage dividing mode, basically the same as the other circuit. And then I have a, let's see, that's a 5K and this is a 100K combining their outputs to the reference of the uh, LM2596 and I've got the plus and minus from the output of the buck converter going here to this rail which has a 1k resistor and uh, yeah that's where the uh, potentiometers are connected to so we will turn it on see we've got Nine volts. Well, they bring you down a little. Not quite in bird's eye view. That's a little better. And then this should be our fine adjustment since we have a high resistance there, and this should be our coarse adjustment. So one point six three. 12, 24. <laughs> yeah, definitely very coarse. Maybe about 3 volts there. About that. 3.7, 3.3. So yeah, that's fairly fine. Um, though, in the higher voltages, you'll see that range increases a fair amount, so it's almost like percentages. We'll go full whack on there, there we go, 18 and a half. Down to 13 and a half, that's about 4 volts, and up to 24, that's 6 volts above. So yeah. Uh oh. There we go. So uh, yeah, that's probably how you do it. Um, you can probably also do it with uh, two potentiometers in series, like a 100K and a 5K or something, 10K and a 1K, with a single fixed pull-down resistor, kind of like how this has a 500 ohm or 270 ohm. But yeah. That's it.
I guess maybe a uh, sneak peek for those uh, sticking around to the end. Oh yeah. Six bay uh, discharge board halfway completed. I should be getting a new one maybe soon because the other one was way off. And I'm starting a collection. Whoops. Collection of new boards. Anybody know what uh, this one is? Maybe you recognize it? Maybe you've seen it around? But uh -huh. could be something kind of interesting. So yeah, that's going to be an upcoming bid. This will be completed soon, do a video on it. And yeah, thanks for watching everybody. <laughs> that's my roommate saying hello. Stick around, comment, subscribe. What are you guys up to? Bye.